spotted all over with a pattern design similar to an ornament made of pleated material. The jaguar is a big cat ranked as the third largest in the world. Among one of the dearest and most recognized animals of the world, the jaguar has been given its name by the Tupi Guanari tribe of South America and means something like the beast that conquers its prey with one leap. With the scientific name Panthera onsa, jaguars once roamed a lot of southern parts of the United States of America and almost the whole continent of South America. Today, however, only three wild jaguars have been seen roaming in the U.S., in southern Arizona to be more precise, since 2015. They prefer inhabiting open landscapes, wetlands, subtropical and tropical zones of moist broadleaf forests and, the majority of them alive today, are found in the biggest tropical regions, the Pantanal and the Amazon rainforest. With the males usually weighing between 50 to 160 kilograms, about 110 to 350 pounds, and reaching lengths of up to 1.9 meters or a bit more than 6 feet without tail. The tail alone can measure an additional 45 to 75 centimeters, that's about 3.5 to 2.5 feet. Overall, males are usually about 15 to 20 percent larger than their female counterparts. However, both male and female sizes can vary based on several factors like regional differences, availability of food supply, and so on. For example, it has been observed that jaguars everywhere else generally weigh lesser than those in the Pantanal. With the base coat color typically in between orange to yellowish brown, the jaguar has spots that can be mistaken for a leopard, one of the few things leopards and jaguars have in common. Jaguars, however, are a bit bulkier than leopards. Jaguars have more muscular legs, a larger skull, and their physique in general looks a bit more robust compared to leopards. However, there is also a very special type of jaguar, namely jaguars with black fur named black panthers. These black jaguars are pretty rare. According to estimates, only about 11% of jaguars have that notorious black coloration. These shiny black-coated variants are the rarest jaguar classification. Therefore, it's not surprising that they are also the most threatened by consistent hunting compared to their yellowish cousins. In contrast to some other cats, jaguars do not avoid water. Actually, they do love swimming and taking baths. Having adapted to living in damp environments, they have developed excellent swimming abilities and can be often found wading through large rivers and lakes. Similar to the tiger, male jaguars are lonesome and solitary felines, found to be in the company of themselves. Although females could also be found alone, but rarely when they are with cubs. Another interesting characteristic of the jaguar is the tendency of opportunistic hunting, taking delight in hunting for food whenever the opportunity arises even if they just feasted on a large prey. That's not surprising if you consider their large body that needs a lot of food in order to sustain itself. They are carnivorous with an appetite for a variety of flesh. Known to be a heavy eater of almost anything flesh, jaguars would sometimes feast on crocodilians, turtles, capybaras, and even monkeys. They prefer animals such as the giant anteater, marsh deer, caimans, and the taper. The main reason why jaguars roar is in order to draw the attention of the nearby opposite sex. Their roar is very intimidating, and it has been observed to be some sort of ritual for mating. Jaguars are excellent predators that reside on the top of the food chain. They utilize very efficient hunting tactics, lurking in the shadows, and perfectly blending in with their natural habitat. They take advantage of their surroundings and utilize their environment as cover for ambush. They also play a vital role in balancing the ecosystem and keeping the other species populations in check. 
choosing to impale the skulls of their prey rather than biting the nape like other felines, the jaguar leaves a fatal wound to the back of the victim's skull, eliminating its prey with usually just a single bite. With teeth strong enough to get the job done, they would even rip through the hides of crocodilians and the shells of both turtles and tortoises. Jaguars are very territorial. That's not really surprising for a big cat. Tigers and lions, for example, do have their own territories as well. Both male and female jaguars mark their territories with scrapes, urine, and marks on trees. Male jaguars usually establish a territory twice the size of their female counterparts. During the breeding season, a pair of jaguars can mate close to a hundred times in a single day. The females usually give birth to two or three cubs, in rare cases, even to four cubs per pregnancy. With a gestation period of about three and a half months, the female gives birth to cubs relatively small in size. At birth, the jaguar cubs usually weigh less than 200 grams, that's not even 0.5 pounds, and they don't open their eyes for about another two weeks after being born. Weaned after 12 weeks, a cub resides with its mother for up to two years, with six months of this spent in the birth den before coming along on hunting expeditions. At the age of two, males can sometimes be well over 50% heavier than females and become sexually mature at the age of three or four. How long do jaguars live? Generally, jaguars rarely live beyond 11 years in the wild, but those in captivity have been reported to live close to 20 years. Sadly, the factors that contribute to their short lifespan in the wild are man-made to some degree. With their population suffering threats from the high deforestation rate in South America, often scattering jaguar individuals far from each other, making reproduction a daunting challenge for them. The loss of habitat also reduces the population of their prey, which in turn leads to a reduction of food supply available. As a result, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, has listed the jaguar as near-threatened. Jaguars are also under the threat of poaching for the demand of their teeth, paws, skin, and other parts of their body. These body parts are used for both medicinal and ornamental reasons. The reduction of food supply is one reason why it has become more and more common for them to invade human residences hunting for livestock. That can lead to unpleasant encounters with humans. As expected, some jaguars are put to death by humans out of fear, retaliation, and in self-defense. However, are they dangerous to humans? Would jaguars attack us? In theory, yes, but it's very unlikely. Compared to different species of cats such as tigers, lions, or leopards, the jaguar is much less likely to attack humans. As a matter of fact, the first confirmed case of a jaguar fatally injuring a human being dates back only to 2008 in Brazil. According to indigenous tribes and people of South America, jaguars don't pose a threat to humans as long as there is sufficient prey available and as long as you keep your distance. However, that doesn't mean you should just randomly approach a wild jaguar or be careless around them. After all, they are still wild animals and apex predators that need to sustain themselves. It's best to hold your distance. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.